What's up, Cancer? Welcome back. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed. If I say it's you, it could be your person. And if I do talk a little dirty, just uh, find your way out of the read. If you get offended, come again another day. And uh, yeah, know that tarot is for entertainment purposes. I had to take a little break. Back now. And uh, let's clear out the energy. Let's see what's going on with you, Cancers. Deep breath. I just heard burning bridges. Okay. So on in the pre-shuffle, I have the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak, agony. And the Empress in reverse, Taurus, Libra energy. Uh, so you're probably not, let me say my little prayer. You're probably not in your full, full value here. Give me a second. So you've dealt with a lot of heartbreak in your life and I feel that you have hidden a lot of what you've been through. You hold, you still hold on to it and uh, you try to hide it. You try to hide what you've been through. Uh, you could have had a mother that really wasn't very motherly to you not very nurturing to you. At times you may feel like you're not a good mother. You're not where you want to be. You, um, you play out your traumas on your kids. So the six of cups is here. So you may have a younger daughter here. Um, You may want to give this, your your daughter, or whoever this is, son or daughter, it doesn't matter. You may want to give this, uh, your child, another child. So you may want to become pregnant in the future. You may like w to wear white. You may be like a little flower child. Or maybe this child uh, was in a wedding. Or someone's asking if the, your child will be in the wedding. I also feel here with this, if you don't have, if you don't have a daughter, if you don't have kids, this is you needing to connect with your inner child because you got heartache, because you're in reverse as the reversed empress. So you're needing to reach out to your inner child and, and get to work, do some work on yourself here, cancer. Cancer. What's going on with cancers? It could be nostalgic about old partnership. Maybe the parent of your child. Four of Pentacles. That person was so held back and greedy. And you may want to do like voodoo on that motherfucker. You could have had a child pass too. You could have miscarried or uh, had a stillbirth. That caused a lot of tower moments for you here. Shit. All right. I'm sorry for you guys. Um, damn. Wow. So you guys have been in a lot of illusions. A lot of fantasy land. A lot of discrepancies here with this Seven of Cups. Mm. Okay. Cancer energy. Cancer energy. King of Pentacles. Four of Cups. So you may have a very um, financially secure King of Pentacles around you. 
Earth sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. No. Not Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's an Earth sign. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person sees that you're sitting in heartbreak. That you have your shit. You have your wounds. You're wounded. Um, so... Four of Cups, this person's pulling you out of some kind of boredom or dissatisfaction. You were sitting by yourself, being this Empress in reverse, not feeling good enough, and this person came around and pulled you out of uh, being bored. Knight of Wands, though. So Knight of Wands... Cancer energy with the Six of Cups, Knight of Wands in reverse. Let me get more clarity on that. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. In reverse. Hmm. Hold on, guys. I'm not sure. Okay, well, you're way up in your fucking head, that's for sure. Way up in your head, in your illusions. You probably can't sleep at night. Some of you guys suffer from bipolar or um, BPD, is it? I'm not sure. Some type of mental illness. Somebody has mental illness here. You can't get out of your own thoughts. You can't get out of your own illusions. Knight of Wands. He may drive a Mustang. There's the horse back there. Cancer Energy. Why did my music shut off? So cutting, cut off. Maybe somebody's cutting you off. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, hold up. Oh, Page of Wands and Knight of Wands. Okay. So whoever you're dealing with is a Page of Wands. Uh, young, in and out energy. Comes in with their passion stick in the moonlight. Gives a quick fuck and then out they go. But this person will buy you gifts to make you feel like they're investing in you meanwhile they're just fucking you all right four of cups queen of pentacles in reverse so you don't so financially you're not really that great cancer energy Financially, or this is mentally, mentally unstable, like not stable, um, not stable mentally. It's, you're not grounded. You are in like, um, Allison in Wonderland. You, you're not, you're not structured here. It doesn't show that you're structured. So what's centering the read, it's looking like you're pulling back due to something with children. Yeah, you're laying dead here with this person. This person's going to make you feel lifeless. Excuse me. Um, so you may be pulling your passion away from this person because you don't feel like this person is going to do right by you and your children, you and your daughter, you and your sons. Um, this person just makes you feel limp, like maybe you can't get it up. 
Um, this person came in at a time in your life that you felt lifeless. So it looks like you're rowing away from conflict. Whatever this conflict was that this person was giving you. Um, yeah, this person can give you passion, but I think that's about it. They're coming up a lot of wands energy. And they're cold. It's like cold energy. And there's no fortune, no abundance with this person. They don't make you feel fortunate. Queen of Wands. Uh, I think your past energy also didn't make you feel sexy. Didn't make you feel... They probably can't even pay child support to you. Like, broke motherfucker that you were dealing with. So, of course, you know, you have, you have these options. But these options all cause you illusions. Or you're just, like, in fantasy land here. All right. Nine of Swords, the Seven of Cups. You could be born in 7997, September 7th, July 9th. Cancer Energy. Cancer. Eight of Pentacles. So you're really in your head about your money and your stability. Uh, somebody, you may have shorter, wavy strawberry blonde hair somebody may be doing some shit on you sure voodoo shit since the voodoo doll is here so you could be having some karma play on you but it's showing that you're really up in your head about how are you going to afford things how are you going to maintain maintain something Cancer energy, page of wands, page of wands, this uh, king of pentacles may cause you heartbreak here, this person may be attached, may have a wife and kids and a whole ass home uh, with somebody else here, the ten of pentacles, this person's going to wind up leaving you out in the cold in the snow. Is this person being truthful to the cancer? Seven of Wands. You need to protect your energy. Someone's burning you. Like somebody is just... Set your life on fire with this energy. The sex may be on fire, but this person's going to light you the fuck up. Not really in a good way. Somebody may have an infinity tattoo. Uh, hazily green eyes. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, you're not you're gonna need to take um hold on. You're gonna need to maintain your strength here. You need to stay strong. Leo energy. Someone's leaving you lifeless, and you need to pick yourself up and become stronger. And become really truthful with yourself. Speak your truth. Speak honesty. Um, three of Pentacles, yeah, like... The, Finances are not good for you. Um, this person lacks putting effort into you also. Uh, Knight of Cups. 
It's like this person may may do like nice little gestures for you to make you feel like they're emotionally connecting with you, but it's really like sideways. It's not it's not um it's a half assed offer. Yeah, just trying to lure you in. Howling at the moon with you. Sex. Somebody wears maybe a lot of uh, light blue. Somebody may have ear problems, ear issues. Like burning ears or... Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. This person will be really slow. To come in for you and pentacles are slow slow to come into you may decide to just be single you may connect with sunflowers um yeah you may decide to be single with the nine of pentacles and just transform from this heartbreak from your past relationships from your past uh your childhood i think you have a lot of childhood issues internal inner child issues that you need to look at and become wiser over. I feel so fucking drained in your energy. So I just feel like you just got to defend and protect your energy from this death. Yeah. It's just dead. It's a dead end. Look at this. Death card with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Like kids are not happy. You're not happy. It just doesn't work. It's like you want to slice your fucking wrist with this energy. I... If you feel suicidal, please seek higher help, okay? higher guidance. Um, and know that you're more valuable than this. Than this thought process that you have. Just because a person can't give you the Ten of Cups, can't give you partnership, doesn't mean that you should be pushed to the edge to want to, you know, take your life, you know. So that's why I'm saying you have to get this right. Because it looks like you're all up in your head here. It's not good. Some of you guys have a daughter that's pregnant too. You got to get yourself upright as the Empress. <sighs> Cleanse your energy. Oh, your daughter is pregnant and then has a daughter also. A younger daughter. Eh, three to five years old. Let's see, it looks like you're cutting something out. You're cutting something off here with the Ace of Swords. Cancer energy. No, there's no ascending here with this person. There's a snake. There's no ascending with this person that you're dealing with. There's a snake in the grass. Slithering snake in the grass, putting you in a competition, being clever. Enemy and the other woman. This person has another woman. And this person's malicious. There is no union that comes in with this person. They're masking their true intentions. They have a sword. Sword of in the rose. The sword and the rose. They don't speak truth. They just want to date and fuck you. And uh, use, use you. Maybe even use you against your, that other person that they're with. Their other partner. So they could be playing you guys against one another. Protection and power. Yeah, this person, ego. You're stroking this person's ego. And this person, um, their other person's probably stroking their ego too. They're stroking multiple egos. They will never be in engagement with this person or any type of stability with this person. So they like to self-indulge. Maybe a heavy drinker. They, uh, 
you guys need to do your shadow work. You need to appreciate yourself more and focus on yourself more. Uh, this person's just in their addictions and they're focused on themselves. I just saw the addiction card. Seduction. Yeah. They're here to like seduce you. Uh, sword and the rose. Could, this person could be forceful too with you. Jeez, guys, what are you doing? Separation. So you may be separating with this person. This person may be telling you that they're separating with their person, but they're not. There's no endings to that that marriage or weddings or anything. This person still wants union with that other person. So... All right. Sunglasses. Yeah, take off the rose-colored glasses. You may like to wear sunglasses. And uh, mirror. You're mirroring your wounds on each other. So you came together with this person because of your wounds. So you, you, um, you connected and trauma bonded with this person. This person took, uh, took your wounds and played upon them. And you reflected out wounds onto this person. So both of you are wounded. And you're reflecting onto one another. And somebody's watching very, very heavily and stalking and looking. Someone's going to start gaslighting you if they haven't already. Um, you know, once the relationship goes further along, they're going to start gaslighting you, making you feel like you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're seeing. So... I can understand why you wouldn't want this person around your daughter or your kids because they are uh, they're in their wounds. Where's that other deck? Yeah, the three of uh, what is this? Three of Earth. Lack effort. This person just likes to turn you around and fuck you from behind. Alright. I'm off with this. Shit. It's shit. <laughs> it's shit. A shit show with this person here. Alright, so after you leave this shit behind, after you do your internal healing, your inner child, after you connect with your inner child, and act with that little inner child. Talk nicely to her. Or to him. What's coming in after you do your work? Eyes are burning. What's coming in after you do the work? You grab the bull by its horn. You end it. See the ending? Death card. And you start gaining your stability grab the bull by its horns you start feeling better um, and your finances start working and you start going through that major transformation and gaining your your mental and financial stability you could be connecting with a Scorpio or Taurus energy an emperor now you have a real emperor coming in Aries uh, this is hidden right now cancer it's hidden but you're ending with a cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy over here. You guys were howling at the moon with each other, but it was all moon energy. There was a lot of shit hidden over here. Four swords, so you're resting better in this energy as you mature. Cancer, where you going? Cancer. Illumination. Stop asking, you know, why, 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 and start doing coming out of your insecurities or your immaturities you could be young uh yeah the world card you're closing out old old chapters it's good all right what's the guidance come out of denial and surrender surrender the connection surrender how you feel you know your fear surrendering the fear and stay disciplined in your actions because you will gain your abundance in the future. <sighs>
think somebody's just gonna wind up hurting you. Balancing things, relationships in reverse. So there's no relationship and this person's gonna start to make you feel guilty in some way. For not wanting, maybe, maybe it's you that's not wanting the relationship or, or them that's not wanting the relationship. Somebody is gonna make the other feel guilty about not wanting a relationship eventually not wanting to commit but i think somebody you you've known that this person is non-committal the whole time so you really you're just blindfolded you were thinking that eventually it'll turn uh maybe into something but this person is already attached to someone else so there is no turning it there is no turning it um it's just like a shot to the heart and it's too late in love, a bad name. May like rock music, Bon Jovi, I don't even know what to give love, a bad name. Like, somebody don't got love. <laughs> there is no love call, you see? Love calls in reverse, like, shot to the heart, all too late. Look up that song. Um, so that's that's that. <sighs> mountain. So you may like to go up to the mountains. You might need to go up to the mountains. You're needing to focus more on your your solar plexus, becoming more confident. Your uh, root chakra becoming more rooted. You know, they have a father figure that lives up in the mountains. Old man here. This may be a past energy or this person may be passing. Uh, June, possibly. Or they passed in June. Person has a little bit of beard, white hair, longer hair. Slow and steady moving forward towards your transformation. Your birthday could be June 12th, June 13th. Uh, you're going to be going in solitude. Peaks, peaks of joy. Peaks of joy. And you may be in education. You may work for education teacher, counselor, administrator. You're going to throw yourself more into your work or more into the books or more into educating yourself about your your traumas here. Solitude. Like climbing that mountain of self-awareness. Which is really good. I like that for you guys. I do like that for you guys because you'll stop the generational curses for you and your family, you and your daughter here, by doing that. So you guys just got entangled with something because you were in your wounds. Last card. I am live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse, and over here on YouTube. And uh, you're going to stay poised, and you're going to use your imagination, and you're going to clean up your life. You're cleaning up. You may be coming clean. You may be the one that has addictions, uh, drinking addiction, or other <laughs> sabotaging addictions. I'm not sure. Uh, 21, 48, 20, August 4th. April 8th, uh, and that's about it. You, Your daughter uh, could have been born on January 2nd or February 1st. And that's what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate all likes, donations, and kind words you give me on a daily basis. And, uh, yeah, if you're watching me and you have ill intention for me in any way, it will be returned back to you. Uh, so uh, be mindful. 
when you're watching and when you're commenting on my videos um, because my divine team don't fuck around about me so just be mindful i'm not here to uh hurt any of my viewers so i expect the same respect back from the viewers um, but if you do look at me in a negative manner and you are wishing upon wishing uh, negative on me may it be may it be returned back to you the way you're sending it okay so i hope you guys enjoyed the read hope it did give you some clarity to your situation i appreciate all likes donations kind words you give me on a daily basis and uh yeah keep yourself in high regard next up is scorpio bye guys